So this question is based on a, a key technical term for uh, Unit 1 in GCSE AQA Business Studies, and it's based on um, one of the biggest issues or the biggest disadvantages of uh, being a sole trader or a partnership, and it's to do with unlimited liability. So Marcus is a sole trader, uh, and within this scenario, it's asking you um, identify one disadvantage of unlimited liability for a sole trader such as Marcus. Now, in terms of being a sole trader, or again, Marcus might have a partner, when they have full control of the company, then they are, yes, they get to keep all the profits, which is, is, is a great uh, potential for, that, for, for those owners. But if you look at the, the other scenario, is it, if the business fails, then they suffer from unlimited liability, meaning that uh, they are fully responsible for all the debt. Now, again, if, if they cannot afford to pay off that debt, uh, they'll have to try and fund it in some way, uh, and that is if the business fails. So in terms of uh, limited, unlimited liability, if they cannot fund it, then the chances are there's going to be a risk of losing um, personal possessions to try and fund what they owe. So again, with A, B and C, none of them apply. Uh, C um, doesn't apply because that's uh, an example of a dividend in terms of uh, private and public limited companies uh, paying a percentage of the profits to the shareholders. Uh, let's control the business. Uh, well, again, un if there's unlimited liability and if the business does fail, then there's, there's potentially no business to be co in control of. And again, he's a sole trader, so he has full control.